Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm down back at Lake Esmond, but this is a little bit special. Today, I have handcrafted my own fishing rod and we're gonna see if we can actually get a fish on it. So you can see this is the rod, this little islet down there, it's a bit strong, it's a bit thick, but it, we're gonna see if it does the job. So got the guideline to make sure it feeds back onto the reel properly. It, it turns both ways. So uh, yeah. Fingers crossed we actually get a fish, but um, if you find yourself liking this video at any point, make sure you hit that like button and definitely consider becoming a subscriber. But anyway, I'm gonna run through a few clips on how we made the rod and we'll come back down and see how we go. Yo! Alright, so we're down the lake now. Now, I haven't trying to I've been trying to find an effective way to do the eyelets. Um, I wanted to craft some, but it ended up getting late in the afternoon and it started raining, so we're back down here today. So I'm just gonna use this bit of string. So got the rod, uh, oh the reel, sorry. Got that that comes on and off. Here's the rod. So what I'm thinking is just gonna tie it. A loop around the end here and then run the line through there and um, probably only gonna have one eyelet because this stick is probably not really designed it's not in the shape of uh, you know a fishing rod it's a bit bit fat it's a bit stiff and doesn't bend really well so uh, yeah I'll tie a bit of a knot on here and we'll uh, go from there all right so there's the little eyelet so pull out my knife real quick. 
and cut off up here. Put that little bit of rope over there and we'll cut this little bit off here. Try not to cut the rest of it. There we go. All right, nice little eyelet. Now we're gonna put the uh, line on the reel and run it through and we'll be able to go fishing. That's a successful cast, boys and girls. All right, so the, the rod's out. It took me a few casts, like I tried, and I tried, and I tried. And it took me, what, four or five times just to be able to get it out. So the way I, I was expecting the, the reel to unwind, but because I guess wood on wood rubbing it, um, yeah, it didn't really play that part all that good. It just sort of gripped to it, I guess. But um, it's, you know, it's, this, this is my prototype. I am gonna make a better, bigger and better, more improved one in the future. I just gotta find the right wood. Now I'm just gonna keep watching this as I talk. So if I keep looking, I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just trying to watch this in case, just in case. So yeah, so yeah, it took me like four or five times. Finally got it out. But what I had to do was unwind a little bit of line at my feet and flick it out so you know it's a bit of a mess but it does work all right so this actually just got a bite oh i think we're on i think we're on actually yes we're on we're on oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo! Come on, guys. oh oh Oh, 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 oh. Woo yes, it worked. It bloody worked. Look at this. Wow. Oh man, I'm so sorry for the angle, boys and girls, but he swallowed the hook. I'm just gonna wet my hand real quick. Woo! Because uh, trout have a, a protective, smooth layer over the top of them, uh, their body. So he's bleeding a real bit. Oh yeah, it's bleeding a fair bit, but we'll get that hook out, chuck him back in the water. I can't believe it worked! Woohoo! All right. Yes! I'm pumped! Woohoo! That I can't believe that actually bloody worked on the primitive fishing rod. Oh. Oh, if you made it this far, drop a like because I caught that little trout now. Oh. Woo! What a high! Like, look at him, he's probably, I'll say about 25 centimetres. Hell yeah. All right, get him back in the water so he's not out of the water for too long. So I'm just going to put you guys down here and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right, time to set him free. If he wants to go, oh, he went off. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, what a, oh, I can't believe that actually worked. I did not expect that to work and that actually, got a bite you can actually see in the rod that i've got a bite okay that oh, all right Whew. wasn't the best cast but it'll do Oop. me reel fell in the water Oop. just goes on this side put a run oh sorry boys and girls out of me jumper for a minute so all right, so the line is set for that nice tight line, straight out. Fingers crossed we get another one. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no, he got off. He got off. That's all right. At least I caught most of that you on camera. You let him get off. Yeah. Unfortunately, no fish number three, but uh, yeah, the line's been out for about half an hour now and we haven't even had a single bite. So, and it's a bit, uh, bit odd for this area because usually within five, 10 minutes with power bait here, bang, you're on or at you've at least had a bite. But um, yeah, pretty freaking hot. Like I am on such a high level at this moment. 
Like, unfortunately, we dropped that fish number two, but it was worth it. It was still worth every moment of it. It was a lot bigger than the first one, but um, yeah, it was a, such a ripper day. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I just want to thank you guys for all the support lately. Uh, everyone's been giving out some really kind words. And uh, I want to get back out to the bush as soon as I possibly can and get back into my hut video and, and uh, whatnot because I've been asked about that a few times. But anyway, I'm just going to wrap it up here. I'm going to reel in the rod soon and uh, call it a day. But if you guys found yourself liking this video, make sure you hit that like button. You don't have to, but if you want to, become a subscriber because I will be uploading a lot more content like this very, very shortly now that it's got, starting to warm up a little bit. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay munted, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Yo!